So we'll do the same for the rest of the bricks that we've cut open. Again, perfection doesn't matter. Also, one way to do things is to select one, go to Mesh, Fill Hole, and it'll just fill a hole with a f that will fill that hole with a face, which in our case that works just fine. So go to Mesh, Fill Hole, Mesh, Fill Hole. Same here. Of course, I didn't mean to delete that face. So to fix that, I'm going to grab the edge. Whoops. Go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. And I'll extrude a new edge along here. I'm going to use my point snap align like we did before. Grab that vert and merge it. Edit Mesh, Merge Options. And let's take my threshold down to like 0.01. So I have three vertices selected right now, because I have the, these two that are on top of each other and this one. Hit apply, now I got two. Just that one and that one. So it looks like I deleted that one on the whole backwards. And when I make a mistake like that, it'd probably be faster instead of just trying to fix this thing, just delete it and make a new one. And actually, now that I've repositioned it like that, I don't really even have to cut it. So I think that should be fine. Okay. So, let's do the back side now. And of course, the easiest way is to duplicate the front side. So we can grab all our bricks, deselect the back. And we don't need to duplicate these guys in the arch because they stretch all the way across. And don't need to duplicate these guys because they stretch all the way across. So I just have these front facing bricks. Control D. Move the whole group back and kind of situate them. And while these guys stretch across, they don't go all the way across. So I'm going to fix that by selecting all these guys. Go in my top view and hit 4 key for wireframe so I can see through all this. I'm going to click this blue button here for component mode. I'm going to grab all these po points, go back in perspective view, and now I can hit 5 key to go back to shaded view so I can see and move these points out so that they're even with, like their brothers on the other side. Like that. I can do the same for these guys too. Grab those points, shift, grab those points, pull them out. And it's kind of funny, I've got this open space in the middle, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So there's our high res brick wall, right? Okay. So what we want to do now is texture these guys. So how are we going to do that? Let's select all the bricks, deselect my interior wall part, and I'm just going to group, combine all these together. Go to Mesh Combine. It may take a second because a lot of pieces. I'm going to delete the history because that's a lot of history under, behind all that stuff. I'm going to go to Materials, Add New Material, Lambert, like so. And I'm just going to color these red. Have a darker subdued red. Like that. And grab this piece here. I'm going to duplicate it and then hide my duplicate. So now I have a hidden wall piece hidden behind there. And for this one, I'm going to right click and go to Add New Material. Lambert. And it's kind of gray, but let's make it a lighter gray. Like that. So that'll be our grout. And just for the sake of uh, having some interesting looking bricks, let's right click on the faces and just every now and then just randomly choose a facing brick around here, just clicking and choosing random facing bricks. And just 
pull those out a little bit. The same for the back. Pull those out a little bit. So it's not a perfect masonry job. See that? So we have some, some bricks kind of sticking out further than others. Okay. So you remember that thing that we hid? I'm going to unhide it. It's back here somewhere. Easiest way to pick it would go in the outliner. Go to Window, Outliner. That's the one we don't want. Which one is it? There it is. Okay, that's the one. Now let's say this is going to be our low res mesh, and all of this is our high res mesh. So what that means is our normal map is going to be baked down and applied to this mesh over here. So now we can get to the nitty gritty of actually creating our normal map. With our low res mesh on top of the high res, we're going to scale it up so that it actually extends out here. And then we're going to grab these points in here, scale them in. What we want to do is for our low res mesh to encapsulate the high res mesh. See that? We want the high res mesh to all fit inside the low res mesh. Let's grab these points and raise them up so that they're above those bricks like that. And it's okay if these they stick out the side. That's all right. But we'll grab these and scale them out a little bit. See that? So all our bricks are now tucked inside this big gray block cage. So we're not quite ready yet, though. We need to get this set and ready to be used. The way we do that is we map the UVs. UVs are what games use and what textures use to apply a texture correctly to an object so that it knows which point goes where on the texture. So we go to Window, UV Texture Editor. We can see how our UVs are laid out so far. And you can see it's just kind of this not really recognizable. You can't really tell that that's the arch. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our arch here and go to Create UVs, Automatic Mapping. And it creates, if we go open up our UV Texture Editor now, we can see that we can see our arch and our different pieces. So let's lay this out a little bit. I'm going to grab this UV and go to Select Shell. Move that to the side here. Do the same over here. Just move them to the side. So I can grab all these, move them to the side. So now I'm going to lay these out in a, in a way that makes sense to me. So we're just going to click these tools and rotate this guy. Rotate this guy. 